channel. Today I'm going to be doing a breastfeeding must have video and it is nap time so I'm gonna make this video as quick as I can but um, if you follow me on Instagram you know that my youngest I have two daughters one is three and my youngest just turned one last week and I have been exclusively breastfeeding for the last year so we are in the weaning process and as we are weaning off of breastfeeding I am going to put away all my breastfeeding supplies so I thought I would do this video to give you guys some helpful tips if you are starting your breastfeeding journey or you're struggling I wanted to show you the things I felt like I really needed during my journey my breastfeeding journey so first things I'm gonna say is don't go and buy all the supplements that are gonna tell you you're going to like produce all this milk on it just give your body time to regulate and to really figure out what it's doing. Drink lots of water, take your prenatal vitamins, and just nurse on demand. That's my first recommendation. I was the mom who went and bought all these products um, to help supplement because I did not have a good experience with my first child. So I bought all these things and y'all, I didn't need them and I was fine. So the first thing I want to talk about is nipple cream. This is a must have when you are starting out your breastfeeding journey. You're gonna have like cracked nipples. They're gonna be tender and sore. It's gonna be kind of painful. Um, I heard that it wasn't supposed to be painful, but really like you're getting your nipples tugged on. They're gonna, it's gonna be painful. So you wanna make that process as easy as possible. I'm using or I use the Earth Mama Angel Baby Natural Nipple Butter. And what I liked about this product is that I did not have to worry about her going from like this being on my nipple so using this and then her latching on it wasn't going to hurt her it was a completely safe for her to consume so that's why i recommended this another thing you might not have this problem i didn't have a super big leaking problem i guess i'm not really like a huge producer but um you do want to have on hand just in case nipple pads so this, these are the reusable kind they're from amazon it came in this little zipped bag and i was able to just like throw these in the wash after i took them out of my bra i could throw them in the wash and i didn't have to like have all these wet gross pads in my trash can all the time so these are recommended to me if you are have from me if you are having any problems with leaking that's a good problem to have by the way um another thing for the beginning use a boppy pillow so this um, also came in handy for people just coming to see the baby and needing an extra support to hold them. For me, I just used it specifically for breastfeeding to make sure I had the right position holding up my baby because it's a little tricky at first. They're really small. So this is a must have for me. This is a vitamin, it's called Lecithin. It is a godsend. This is like super cheap. I got it I think at like a Kroger, you can get it at Walgreens or a Walmart, whatever, a pharmacy. Um, what it's going to do is thin out your milk so your ducts aren't gonna get clogged. So if you've struggled with mastitis or clogged ducts, I take these, um, well I did take these once every day so that it would thin out my milk a little bit so that I wouldn't get so engorged and have clogged ducts and it would be really painful. So that's something I really, really recommend if you struggle with that. These are hack pumps I had three, so obviously I loved them. What you'll do with them is fold this back. This is the shield around. You'll place that on your nipple, so pretend that's my nipple, and then you'll suction it around it like that. And it's just gonna catch any excess milk that's dripping out so that you don't waste it. This is a game changer. I stored most of my milk using these. And like I said, you know I love them if I have three. If you don't already have a pump, this is the Spectra pump and it's the portable one. I'm not sure what this is called, I'll link it below. But this was amazing for me. This didn't hold me down tied to a wall. I can move around with this. I just put on a pumping bra and I was able to put this in my pocket or in my like hoodie pocket and walk around and pump while I did dishes or whatever without having to be attached to the wall. Also really convenient for when you're in the car or if you're traveling somewhere, this is gold. I do have like the oversized Spectra pump as well, but I never used it. I only use this one because this is way more convenient. Speaking of pumping bras, there's a million different pumping bras you can get. This one's the Medela. It looks like this. It's kind of like a tube top and it has like the holes for your pump straight through the middle. I liked that one. I didn't really use that most of my pumping experience, but I know that if um, you're exclusively pumping, that's probably one that you'll wanna have. I just used regular nursing bras that had the clip down, and I would just attach my pump to the 
little clip part that they have on there. I actually had to like YouTube how to use these because it just didn't make sense to me for a while. But these are super handy. And this is like the most comfortable bra ever. I'll link this below too. Another thing, I am not like a firm believer in like you need all of these nursing bras. I just wore stretchy sports bras. That was it. I got a big sports bra and I was able to just pull it down or pull it up or whatever you want to do. But if you want, they do have like all these sports bras or all these nursing bras that you can just pull it down and out comes your boob. Um, going with the pumping theme again, if you have to be away from your child and you need to give them a bottle, these are the two bottles that I highly, highly recommend. And my lactation specialist or my lactation consultant recommended both of these bottles for breastfed babies um, to make sure that she wouldn't have any nipple confusion going from bottle to breast. So um, this is the Lansano Mama bottle and I never had to like change the nipple on it or anything like that. It just, whatever it came with was what I used the entire time. And then my personal favorite, I use these for Stevie as well, my three-year-old. This is the Como Tomo bottle and it is a silicone bottle so it's super squishy. I don't know if you guys can see that, there you go. It's super squishy and it's really easy to clean because your hand can get completely in there to the bottom my favorite personal favorite also know if you are having any type of struggle most of your insurance if you do have insurance will cover a lactation consultant visit so i highly recommend you reach out to a consultant just to make sure that you're doing everything that you can if breastfeeding is for you and you want to continue that you're doing everything that you can to be successful but guys really all that you need in the beginning is a cup of water this is coffee, it's not water, but a cup of water to make sure you're hydrated, a pillow, and your boob. That's it, y'all, that's it. I wish you the best luck on your venture, and I hope that it's successful for you. If that's what you're choosing, you can do it. I promise you, I did not think I was gonna make it a year exclusively breastfeeding, but here I am a year later weaning her off, and I'm super sad about it. But thanks for watching today's video. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you on the next video.